Hi, this is Jody Colgrove with Quantum Techniques, and I have the awesome opportunity to interview Sarah Bunn. Uh, we just got done with our Quantum Techniques training in October and learned so much about um, how to do new scans and how the body works and how we can help our clients get their health and happiness back. And so Sarah got to be a part of the training, and I've worked with her before, and she's just a delightful person. So I wanted to share her with you and, and let you know kind of what she's doing and how she's using the modality of quantum techniques to help people heal. So um, Sarah is a functional medicine certified health coach and she works with people that are dealing with chronic illness. So Sarah, why don't you introduce yourself? Yes, thank you, Jody, for having me. It's such a pleasure to be speaking with you today. Yes, I am a functional medicine certified health coach. I'm also a certified quantum techniques practitioner. Um, in a nutshell, I'm an intuitive consultant, coach, and healer. And so, and I often work with women who to overcome their chronic health chronic health issues. Great. That's great. So, um, so when did you get started in all this? Yeah, so I got started in all this quite by accident. Um, when many years ago, uh, I made a decision that, and it's because doctors I went to see, they gave up on me. However, what they didn't know was that I didn't give up on, my, on myself. I was determined to find a solution mm -hmm. and it just came up when you open your mind up to that. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your story on, on what, what you've dealt with and how you were able to kind of help you um, get through that time. Yeah, so I suffered from severe respiratory issues since I was seven, went to so many doctors, they didn't know what to do. They misdiagnosed me. And in 2005, that was the, where, the point where I got severely sick. <clears throat> I had to leave graduate school. And for since then, I was so sick. I lost friends. I could barely walk a few feet. I could barely talk. And there's got to be a way, Jody. And I felt that deep within me, there's more to this. And I continued my journey. And then one day, it just it shifted. And I got better. Wow. And at this that's a great story because, um, you know, and I think we've always sometimes when we have something that we've dealt with, we want to share that with more people. And that's kind of my story, too. So uh, it's it's neat that you had the courage to come out and start sharing what you had learned with others. So um, you talk about your secret formula. So tell us a little bit more about what that secret formula is. Yeah, so in the past, I thought that if I spent all these monies on the latest technology treatments and therapies, I would get better. But when I spent all those money, I was financially drained, and I still wasn't better, I had to do something. And that's when I decided to switch the focus on to myself. So I turned within to search for the answer. So then I came up with a formula. I call it the four pillars of self-care over my time, my relationship, health, and purpose. And I started using that daily, and I started feeling much, much better. And I'll have to admit, Jody, change isn't easy. It was a lot of hard work, it's painful, to letting go of things that don't serve you anymore. And that's a decision. That's a decision before my transformation. As some people would say, um, I think Lisa Sasevich, she mentioned that before. And so it starts with a decision for yourself. Yeah, I like that. Because yeah, it, you, you, sometimes you don't realize you're going down the wrong road and you're like, wait a second, this is not getting me what I'm wanting. Where do I need to shift? And so um, that that's great because um, I do remember kind of working with you, and I'd always test different modalities that it would be better and things like that. And so it's great that you kind of said, 
all right, now what, what, do I, what work do I need to do here? And um, that, that is part of what our work is, is not just changing stuff on the outside, but also changing what's on the inside. So that, that's fantastic. So you, sell, you say that self-care tip number one is time. So tell us more about what that is. Right, so today, what I'm going to share is start by asking these questions yourself. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but you have all the answers. So self-care tip number time, questions I would ask are, where are you spending your time? <clears throat> Excuse me, who are you spending it with? Do these people help you to grow or do you take to stagnation? Mm -hmm. I'll start there. Right. And then once you start asking these questions, uh, the other self-care tips will follow. It will make much better sense. Good. Okay, so what's uh, self-tip care number two is relationships. Absolutely. And Jody, I get this question a lot. People always ask me, <laughs> how do I have the best relationship with someone else? And I always go back and say, if you want to have the best relationship with someone you love, the one relationship you need to work with is yourself. And the question I would ask in this case is, how are you treating yourself? Got it. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we don't, um, you know, kind of belittle ourselves or put ourselves down. We don't realize that we need to build ourselves up to, to kind of actually get where we want or where we want to go. So, um, so I can definitely see how that ties into looking and saying, okay, who am I spending my time with? And is that supporting who I want to be? And then the relationship, as you're looking, okay, what is the internal relationship you have with yourself? So self-care self tip number three is health. So tell us a little bit more about that one. Yes, and I love this because this one is probably one of the hardest things. Mm -hmm. Because as you mentioned, we sometimes belittle ourselves, we are too critical, we're hard. So question here is, what are the three loving and kind things you can do each day for yourself and then do them. For me, I love drinking green tea for the benefits on nice tea cups. And I do sauna at home once a week if I can. And I also make homemade bone broth from scratch. And that for me is nourishing. <laughs> That's great. I, I guess I need to get your recipe because I've tried it twice and it's been a major flop. <laughs> Mine is so easy. It's just I'll give you the recipe if you want it. Just you All just right. have to have an instant pot. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, I think it's a cook that has a problem more than the instant pot. <laughs> All right. So self-care tip number four, you say is purpose. So what's that about? Absolutely. And this is one of the most important things. It's really once you it's connecting to your higher purpose. So question here is will the decision you make today lead you away? or towards your purpose. We all have 24 hours in a day, Jody, and where we put our focus is key here. So we want to pay attention to that. Got it. Yeah, you know, and I, just in this day and age and what we're going through, it's like I'm really being aware of like, hey, is this gonna further me down the path I wanna go to or is it resonate with me or is this taking me in the wrong direction? And sometimes they're hard decisions because they're hard to let things go, so. Yeah, no, that's a that's a great tool is, is really keeping in mind your purpose. So if people right. wanted to work with you, how would they get a hold of you? That's a great question. And right now, the best way is to connect with me on Instagram. And that's Instagram.com slash Sarah Bun Coach, S-A-R-A-H-B-U-N-C-O-A-C-H. Send me a message. I'll be glad to answer any questions. That will be I'll be glad to connect. Great. Well, good. Well, I appreciate you sharing that. And uh, she's got some great pictures on her Instagram account. Uh, I checked it out, and she's got some kayaking pictures and hiking pictures. But I think she mentioned already her favorite one is a picture of her teacup that she uses every day. So <laughs> it's worth looking at her Instagram because she's got a lot of good good stuff there. So. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jody. Yeah, I look forward to add some bullfrog there too. There you go. <laughs> Not that I mention it. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, so thanks everybody for listening and kind of getting to know um, Sarah and how she's using quantum techniques and her coaching skills to help you um, get your health and having best back and to find out, you know, how you kind of recenter with yourself and get reconnected and those self care tips that we need to take every single day to help us uh, be the best that we can be. So uh, Sarah, I'm so grateful that we were able to do this uh, interview and I look forward to people having reaching out to you and working with you. All right. Thank you, Jody. Pleasure. Have All a right. great day. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye.